What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, Learning to Be Filipino, and today I'm going to show you how cheap rent is here in the province. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit, hit the subscribe button, join the family, because I'm going to be dropping content on you guys, giving you guys the inside living in the Philippines. So if you follow me on TikTok, then you probably know that I'll be leaving the Philippines soon. I made up my mind, I'll just hit a quick visa run and I want to be back here in this country. This is where I choose to be. This is uh, my heart right now. But before I leave, I will be securing a new house. Well, I've already secured a new house. It's a very beautiful, nice view. And uh, I'll be giving you guys a breakdown of what I've paid and uh, giving you some advice and showing you what rent would cost you if you came here, whether that be in the city, countryside, province, whatever you want to call it. So stay tuned guys, I'll be right back. Gotta do some errands. All right guys, this is the spot that I rented. It comes partially furnished some decoration and that view guys that view is stunning let's check it out the back area clean your things here pretty awesome all in all guys this is very affordable and i was surprised to get this price the price that i paid for this is ridiculous and it's basically a couple thousand pesos more than the place that I'm currently at, which is like a little cubicle, small thing, and um, actually raised the rent on me. But um, that's all right. We don't complain, right? But um, yeah, this is where it's gonna be. I can't wait to wake up in the morning with a cup of coffee and see that view, though. That view is awesome. Yeah. You're still here with me up until this point. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you sticking by. Back from the market. Let's talk about this rent. Just showed in the beginning of my video the place that I rented. That's running me about 7,000 pesos a month. That's roughly about $123 a month, which is amazing. I mean, you're not going to find that anywhere in the U.S. You're not going to find that anywhere in the West in general but mind you i do live in the province is where i'm at right now things tend to be a little bit cheaper but not always i just got lucky in the circumstances of the owner she needed to rent the place quickly so this place usually can run about eight to ten thousand pesos that is nothing included i still have to pay light i still have to pay water and some garbage disposal so uh, yeah all the other living expenses including food so you're here wondering how you can get some rent for cheap it's a very simple rule of thumb. Stay away from the big cities. If you stay away from the big cities, then you will avoid paying high price rent. And it's still high price for this country. It's still gonna be lower than what you would ever see in your country. And I'm talking about between 500 and $800 a month, which even $800 a month in America, you can get something very small. $800 a month here, you're gonna get something very amazing with gated community, pool, all kinds of amenities. So, if you live in a city, you're going to expect to pay more. Just remember that. The second factor is if you want to live like a tourist. Do you want to live like a tourist or do you, do you not mind living amongst the people, the locals? If you don't mind living amongst the people and the locals, then you're going to always pay a little bit cheaper. Because some foreigners that come here, they like to live how they live back home. They want to live the comfortable life. They want to have the all of the amenities. They want to have the security gate, the gated community with the security in the front. They want all that, which is it's not a problem, you know, to each his own. But for me personally, I like to live a more peaceful life with the people. You get a good side of the, you get a great side of this country and that is the people. And um, yeah, I don't mind being around the people. So that is the second factor just got to know what category you fall under what are you willing to subject yourself to and then you can gauge the amount you're going to pay every month so basically city expect to pay between 500 all the way up to 40 and even 60,000 pesos which is you know well up there within a thousand dollar range which is still amazing it's still amazing you, you probably it would probably be very difficult for you to find rent in America or in UK and Canada, even in Australia for 800 to 1,000, something decent. But here, for 800 or 1,000, you're getting something that's baller. You're gonna have all the stores very close. It's gonna be a convenient situation for you. That's like vanilla 
or Cebu, okay? So you wanna live like a baller on a thousand dollar rent budget, or eight to th 800 to a thousand dollar rent budget, you go Macton Island, Newtown in Cebu or someplace in Cebu City, or you go to BGC over there in Manila or somewhere up there in Luzon. The only cities that I would say that are actually cheap, cheap and really good for foreigners is Davao City, Cagayan de Oro City. Cagayan de Oro City, you can find cheap rent in condominiums. Rent up to $600 and it's gonna be a secure building. But you're gonna have all the stores around, you're gonna have the mall near, you're gonna have immigration right there, very, very convenient for you as a foreigner to extend your visa or whatnot. And you're gonna have Davao City, which is about an eight hour drive from Cagayan de Oro City. And um, this is labeled as one of the safest cities and one of the cheapest cities to live. Actually, it's, it's actually ridiculous. It's one of the best cities to live and it's actually one of the cheapest. So a lot of foreigners live there. I have a few friends on TikTok, foreigners that live there. They've been living there for a long time. The cost of living here, uh, how it's so affordable is the rent. The rent cost is really, really reasonable. And um, these are the kind of things that keeps us here, man. These are the kind of things that's gonna keep you here once you experience this, the culture, the lifestyle, and everything that goes along with it. I mean, the rent, man, the rent. You can really get something baller. Before I left the US, I was paying about $1,200. If we convert that, that's about 70,000 pesos around there. I mean, if I paid 70,000 pesos and, and, and really looked, I would find something baller for 70,000 pesos. So some of you guys are coming on a bigger pension, which I know it doesn't allow you to you know live like crazy like a baller, but um, some of you guys do live on a nice size pension or retirement, which you know you do have the leeway to live like a baller. All of the things that you're gonna do here, it's gonna kind of cancel that out, that the need to want to spend that much money here. Because there's a lot of things to do here, especially if you're around Cebu and up, up north. There's a lot of places to see. You know, you try to budget your money and look for something that's comfortable for you so you can have more money to travel. There's over 7,000 islands here. And most important part about renting here is you go with your Filipino or a Filipino friend, somebody that you know that knows the prices and somebody just in case, if there is a chance that you might get hackled in here you might get scammed in here and they overcharge you just because you're a foreigner they will say wait 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 i know the price is here that's too that's too much or you could look on facebook as soon as you touch down in the philippines in the city where you're going to be staying just type it in on facebook you'll see the price there get a screenshot of the price so quick video guys appreciate you guys for stopping by again if you have any recommendations on videos for me to make questions that you guys have drop them in the comments i encourage you, you guys give me some feedback so once again you guys have a good day good night stay blessed everybody until next time you're the only